mutes, ants, and mass termites. Mutes, ants, and master ter- mass termites. Mass that's kinda, termites. That's kind of awesome. I think well, I our first alternate earth. Hello, everybody. It's Moomamo. And today is the planning episode. Most wonderful episode of the year. It's our favorite, really. It's so much fun. Uh, Wow. Okay, I gotta say, um, Chad, you're really putting in some overtime today. Starting at right around 12.30 Pacific. Uh, Devious Hearts is in here. J.D. Rook. Uh, Let's see. Who else we got? Um, ORC. Good to see you, friend. Everybody's here. Good Moomamo. Claude's here. I see you, Claude. Uh, quick. Oh, look at Mastermind DePook says, Happy Moomamo, superfan. A, a quick question, everybody. Tell us where you're from. Where are you at? Where, where on the globe do you exist? And also, do me a favor and say hello to our friends, Alex and Steve. Hey, everybody. Hello, everyone. How are you guys? Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Even though Evan thinks that we should not be here and we should just be replaced by background music. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's, it is a good background little song. Uh, okay, so Sean Halden is in Athens, Georgia. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Missouri. <laughs> DV starts in Missouri. Okay. Mm-hmm. Missouri. Missouri. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Jonathan Jackson, happy Moo Memo to you. Uh, let's see... Raymond says, United States Central Time Zone. That is as close to my location as you will get. We'll find the lair, <laughs> like, Raymond. Playing it close to the vest. I respect that. <laughs> my that only narrows have... it down to like 7,000 square miles. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. The hills of eastern Tennessee. More is the pity. I feel as you, my long friend. As the hills are not alive. That's right. With the sound of whatever happens in Tennessee, uh, Zatrin. Um, let's see. I, J.D. Rook says, text casting from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Mm. Nice to see you. I'm glad to see you oot in a boot, as they say. Exactly like that. Mastermind of Pooks says, my secret HQ is beyond the wall up here in the great state of Maine. Nice. Well, you know, I'm here in Seattle, Washington. Uh, Alex, you're in... Uh, I'm in Columbus, Ohio. Ohio. The, uh, black hole in the center of the state of Ohio. When you've got no place to go, it's Ohio. I Here's like that. Thing. We have the most astronauts because you have to hit escape velocity to get out of our state. To get out of Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> and Steve, you're, you are... And I am from the less famous Salem uh, of Salem, New Hampshire. I see. I see. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Northwest Arkansas. I like that. Um, I, what a weird name, Arkansas. See, that mm-hmm. dog is just like, I don't care for this Arkansas business. Um, so we don't talk like that at home. <laughs> Only when you go out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so Tempo asks, will the planning episode be strictly for Mumamo, or will it include Thursday and others? It'll be nope. strictly for Mumamo, and uh, with a, maybe a sprinkling of, uh, of uh, top-tier membership stuff, you know, mm-hmm. when, when we come across it. So, yes. Um, yeah. I'm not qualified to speak about uh, Thursday. <laughs> Mm-mm. They can they can do their own planning episode. Hey, mm-hmm. John's in Pittsburgh, PA, like that. Um, okay, listen. Here's what we've got on the screen. Before we go any further, I want to say congratulations to Alex. Alex has got the uh, has published the very first um, astonishing adventure that's focused in Titan City. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm really excited. It came out today, so. Uh... If you are looking for a PL6 pulp adventure, this is, you know, I've heard some buzz that you guys were looking for things like that. So here it is. Uh, the Lost Library is a story all about oh, a bunch of <laughs> treasure hunters and archaeologists finding that the information from the Library of Alexandria might not be entirely lost. So go find it. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Go find it. And you yeah, can and, do that and, by and the fact that that information is not lost actually is a bit of a problem. Yeah, there's, I a, see. Uh, there's, a, there's a mummy who hates Egypt who wants to destroy it, and I think that's oh, I think that's fun. <laughs> I see, I see. So yeah, you too can engage with the uh, mummy that hates libraries, uh, the mummy's mm-hmm. mummy. Uh, do me a favor, <laughs> scan that QR code that's just kind of it's usually wiggling in the corner, mm-hmm. and you are will, as if by magic going to be taken to a um, a page that shows you the link for our store, 
and drive through RPG, just five dollars ninety nine cents, plus tax or VAT and all that stuff. Yes, this um, is the case maybe. Yeah, yeah but and Gerald sh- did also helpfully remind me there are mummified baboons in it, and they are the best. Right. If you oh. need an extra selling point, well, there, there are, you, you go. get to fight mummified baboons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So so check it out, um, uh, Alex. Rave reviews so far. I'm excited. People are liking it. Please uh, yeah. tell me how you're going to do your thing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, uh, let's see. Here's a quick question: uh, Is Titan City going to be retroactively made a part of Earth Prime setting, or is this considered a parallel Earth? Uh, oh. What are thoughts there? It is considered a parallel Earth, um, mm-hmm. but you can uh, you can adapt things into Freedom City if you want. If you want to move the adventure into Earth Prime, that's totally cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and I. I suspect in future adventures we'll find some way for Titan City personalities to pop up in Earth Prime and vice versa. Yeah, I love it. Um, and then for those people who are just kind of curious about what Titan City is, do you want to give a little uh, flavor? Yeah, so uh, Titan City is a fantasy noir setting, a fantasy noir slash pulp in which monsters and magics were revealed to the public in 1907 and everybody sort of had to deal with it for the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. Um, supernatural creatures have done their best to integrate with society and government agencies are doing their best to help monsters and magic users integrate with society in the way that a hoover uh j edgar hooverian government agency can be helpful dominic good to see you my friend this is a boom (laughs) why is that so familiar is a boom of who yeah, but it's uh, it's generally it'll be adventures featuring things from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, uh, dealing with the supernatural, the macabre, the mobsters, monsters, costume crime fighters, just the whole gamut of things. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for people to get to get their hands in. So yes. one of the Sean's um, uh, mentioned that they would love to see something along the lines of a, of a how to build a uh, create pulp characters and, you know, sort of. Um, and that to me felt like a really good subject that we could sort of float, you know, around and, and maybe plug it into our planning uh, episode. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. The other thing is I have devious hearts. Would you do me a favor? Would you share your idea that you shared with us during last week's dev chat or this week's was this week? No, no, it was last week. Today is Monday. I don't know what I'm doing. Where am I? Who is this? Uh, <laughs> what day is this? Yeah. Where are, are we? Where are we? <laughs> Macabre lobster mobsters. <laughs> my new band what. name. Right. <laughs> I really like it. It's going to be my new lobster shack restaurant. It'll be delicious. Um, watch out for the condiment vampires. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're the worst, honestly. Um, you know, Devious, uh, if you've got more than one, that's the beauty of the show. So here's how it's going to work. You folks in chat are going to add um, your ideas and thoughts, things you had hoped to uh, to uh, uh, have us talk about. And then we'll map that to events and things that are going on in the world. And, mm-hmm. um, and at the end of this, we will have about, you know, so far, we've done this how many years? About three. Yeah. Holy crap. Wow. It might have been more than that. But right. but the idea here was, you know, we were um, all sitting around just as we do, um, eating bonbons in the green Ronin HQ, just lounging about. And we're yes. like, oh, we've got to plan topics. And right. I thought, I thought uh, why not do it with the community? And we've done it now, you know, so many times. And it's just fantastic. We really mm-hmm. love it. It's one of our favorites. Uh, and we're really, really glad to see everybody here. Now, here's the thing. If you've got an idea, um, share it in chat. And we'll we'll get in there in such decadence, I know exactly. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, and, uh, and, you know, we may extrapolate on the, the idea. We may combine ideas. And oftentimes there are people who have shared such good ideas that we've invited them to be a part of the show. Now, I'm not mm-hmm. saying everybody's going to be able to do that, but... The other thing that you get as a person who gets, if we select your idea, you get a real life hero point. Mm-hmm. Now it it comes in the mail, but it's really hard to see. They're very um, light and mm-hmm. airy, you know, kind of. And so, you know, for those of you who are waiting for yours, you might already have it. You just don't know. Um, so you know, check the mail again. Mm-hmm. But you get one of those, and our love and affection, and uh, you know, and that's really what more could you want, right? Awesome. Yeah. Right. People are already rolling out the ideas, Troy. They so. they are indeed. Um, uh, don't decadence. 
Oh, decadence. That's 12 <laughs> decadences. <laughs> so many decadences. Okay, so today we are looking at Monday the 25th. The We have the first Moomamo of this session on April 1st. Now, Amazing. Can I, can I April tell you, Fool's Day. I have never been a fan of April Fool's Day. Um, it's also the week of my birthday. Oh, hey. Mm. I like that. Um, what Do we want to do something in the April Fool's Day kind of like, you know, I don't know, something fun and jokey or... We could do an episode about how to uh, how to use imps and tricksters as villains. Mm. Hey. I think that would be... I think that would be a cool thing. Also, yes. you know, I would love to get people um, wrapping their minds around the idea of good surprises. Like how to yeah. really architect it so that it's not something that people go, what? What are you doing to me? Why are you doing this? You know, um, uh, okay, so what do we want to call this? Uh, I think Imps and Tricksters. I love that, yeah. Mm-hmm. April Fool's Day. We'll do imps. Oh, the, you know, the other thing, too, is I decided to um, uh, get a new keyboard. And so everyone gets to see me learn to type again. Excellent. Oh, good. <laughs> imps and tricksters. Um, yeah, and I think f- that could also include riddles and puzzles. Uh, Sean Holland says Ooh, I all like of that. the Riddler in games. So just imps and uh, tricksters, riddles and puzzles. Oh, my. I yeah. love it. Uh, How to do all of that without being a jerk to your players. Right? Yeah. Imps, tricksters, puzzles, and riddles. How to surprise and delight mm-hmm. without pissing off your <laughs> players. <laughs> um, yes, uh, JD that. Rook, I am an Aries. Mm-hmm. I like to think, uh, I, I, think event... I can think I suit that zodiac sign as well. Let's hope that. I don't do the thing I did once before where I accidentally saved one event one over the entire... Over yeah, that was a real mm. delight. Okay. Um, all right, so now we're on to the 8th. Um, any ideas jumping out of you? Boy, we've got tons of stuff in here in chat. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's front load Devious Hearts. The reason I say that is because, um, you know, it, we we had our, our meeting and folks showed up, and uh, we wanted to do something nice for the folks that showed up and gave them an opportunity to share their thoughts first. Um, mm-hmm. And right. so... Uh, Freedom City, Pulp Air. Okay, these, that's actually a books that you... <laughs> um, ba, ba, ba. Brain Drain. Okay, let's see. A general discussion of what Pulp is. You know, yeah. let, that's a good... That is a good point. Um, uh, mm-hmm. When do we want to plug that in? I feel like, you know, it would be good to do it sooner than later. Yeah, is there anything pulpy coming out? Mm-hmm. I mean, apart from your first adventure. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I think we should probably break it down soon since that's today. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's plug that in here to the into the eighth. And do we want to mm-hmm. just do like sort of a, a Titan City deep dive and and just kind of give people a, a taste of what they can anticipate? How about um, we do? How about we do Titan City and the Pulp Era? I like it. Yeah. That way we can cover both the setting and the genre. Oop. And the pulp earwig. Okay. The um, pulp earwig. That's uh that could be a character in Titan City. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good. Uh, just a little just a little earwig in a trench coat with a fedora. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Um let's see. Uh we've got Gerald says weaken threat or menace. Um, oh, I don't see why it has to be limited to one or the other. <laughs> right. Yeah, threat, and right. Menace. threat threat and, and menace. menace. <laughs> uh Is idea about weaken the effect. I assume. A deep dive on afflictions from RC. I think afflictions and weekend could probably be put together as a, yeah. as a topic. Maybe yeah. just like debuffs in M M&M. In fact, they could probably be put together in rules mechanics too, but that's we'll talk about that another time. Right. right, right, right. <laughs> Status um, effects. <laughs> yes. Okay, so help me out here. Do we want to combine some of these? Uh, like, you know, are they is it does that topic... ways uh, ways to stop villains that don't involve punching them in the face? Okay, I like that. Uh, what, what's a what's a catchy? Um, I'm going to type that actually here before yes. I forget it. Ways to oops, alternate takedowns or yeah. uh, combat tactics and you. Mm. 
How to avoid standing in one spot and punching. Well, right. It depends on whether or not we're talking about tactics, maneuvers, condition yeah. opposing effects, or all of the above. I feel okay. like this could actually just be like an episode that's like how to be a better fighter in Eminem. Or what, yeah. like, advanced combat in Mutants and Masterminds or something oh, like yeah. that. Okay, that I like a lot. Um, yes. And I think it's ev it's evocative. So, uh, advanced combat. Look, in punching M villains M in the face is a valid plan. Absolutely valid plan. So, Except, I don't course, remember the all of these. Either don't have faces or are immune to punching. Now, mm -hmm. uh, does that include... That doesn't include... Uh, afflictions, right? That's not a. Th I, it, I think yeah. it would include. Okay. Talk about it. Uh, okay, awesome. I just want to make sure I get RC said uh, afflictions. Future me is going to go. Thank you, past me. Right. Um, For noting this, Gerald says, uh, and so we can accounts too. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Combat maneuvers, uh, team attacks, um, status conditions in general. Combat. Oops. Yep. Uh, let's see. Um, I see Sean Holland. I see your convention stuff. Anything else we want to catch into <laughs> April Fool and the Fooligans? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, April uh, and the Fooligans. Who fools the Fooligans? Oh, you know traps and tricks. Yeah, I think that that I think we kind of cover that. Um, in uh, yeah, that's a slightly less than combat thing. That's a, oh no no I'm sorry mm -hmm. I meant in the April Fool's Day I was looking at David oh. Bodie's uh, traps and tricks. Sure. Yeah, uh, a little bit comes under puzzles and riddles. Yeah and yeah I'll make sure to include like that. Escape rooms and things like that. Yeah. Gravy Squatch versus an official product. Devious Hearts, you are a man after my own heart. You know what? That might be our April Fool's product. Is I'll write up a I'll write up a Gravy Squatch stat block this week. I worry I worry about your bias. Frankly, uh -huh. but you know, hey, I can separate my personal opinions about a product before I write about it. I mm -hmm. see the way you kick Daedalus just all around, you know, in every adventure, just whoop him. Look, <laughs> I, he's just a great damsel in distress, <laughs> he's really good at it. Yep, <laughs> love it. Okay, so I'm going to save this one and look at us, we are already off to the races. Um, so Devious Heart says, I would love a deep dive on the difference between campaign setup. And one shot setup, that's easy. If you're Alex, they're the same thing. That is very true. <laughs> Off, yeah. I'm I'm not sure there is a one shot. Look, just because my Thanksgiving special ended last week does not mean <laughs> I don't know how to run a short adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got some more waiting in the wings, actually. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Ray there you go. Raymond has this idea. <laughs> um uh, more game master guide archetypes. So um <laughs> yeah, yeah. That so you know what would we call that? Shots fired. Um, yeah, Alex, Alex's yeah. one shots. <laughs> 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 well, now you have to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> all right, we'll call that. Look, before I started working here, I was able to run one shots at conventions all the time. <laughs> uh huh. <Oops>. I promise. <laughs> Um, and what we'll do is, so this is basically a discussion about the difference mm -hmm. in setting up for a campaign versus a one shot. Yeah. yeah thank you, Jonesy. I'm glad you like my special mini series. <laughs> uh, for a campaign versus a one shot. Yeah, we could Help. probably rope some of the uh, con prep stuff into there. Unless I think we so. Want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, unless we want to make con prep its own thing. You know, we talk about more than just preparing for adventures, but preparing for how to be at the convention and I think that we could probably, all that stuff. We could probably cover that, but one of the things I like about this topic is that we can invite people to join in and mm -hmm. share with us their, you know, setup. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, so we've got... Um, Alex is sort of the um, the the example of you know how a one shot turns into you know many shots, and then uh, here's what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be the infomercial version of myself. Uh, learn from my experience. I love it. Um, hey, and Make my mistakes. Your, do me a favor, chat as you're as you're sharing stuff. If you you know we this is such a fast moving chat that I, I hate going back in time. So uh, because I end up you know and also the chat jumps around everywhere. Do me a favor and repost mm -hmm. if you're feeling like your idea is getting a little 
uh, not seen. And we'll, we'll continue to kind of keep our eyes on things. Um, mm -hmm. Gentlemen, do you see anything else that's uh, popping out at you? Oh, gosh, let's see. Um, two <laughs> E stat blocks. And, oh, okay. Interesting. Using the free 3E converter. 2E to 3E conversion. I mean, we could walk through something like that. What's the uh what I is the forget that exists when I go to convert characters from 2E to 3E? There's a there's a free PDF on the website for that. Yeah, I always forget that it's there and I just do it the hard way. <laughs> oh, it's our converter. <laughs> yeah, That's it's our converter. I see. Yes. Something we did that I just never remember to use. If we don't call it the Frank converter, that is a real lost opportunity, I think. It really um, is. Yes. Yeah. Uh let's see. Uh Pulp free T Titan City is like a pipe without a lead. Okay, sure. Yeah. I saw somebody saying mixing different genres into mutants and masterminds. So Ooh, where's that at? Yeah, I like uh, that. It's tempo says that. Um, okay, so uh let's let's uh, expand on that. Um is it is it like traveling to places or, or his, I think history like, timey wimey? I think it's like how do you do Eminem as a space opera, or how do you do Eminem as a post apocalyptic wasteland? Or mm -hmm. I see. So sure. is is that is it more how do you about make the it system? Mecca? Well, there there are two approaches to that. It yeah. is either talking about doing genres using Eminem for genres other than superheroes. Yeah, or it's talking about mixing other genres into your superheroes, like doing a superhero know. heist movie. Or superheroes in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Sort of the thing. So there are two different ways of looking at that. Okay. So we, we want to call that sort of uh, um, uh, just to focus on genres um, mm -hmm. and the many ways we can genre. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Eminem okay. genres or genre exploration. Or... Um, how about genres and Eminem? Yeah. Mm. Genres and Eminem. Okay, and that was uh, who was that? That was um, Tempo. Tempo. Okay. Mm -hmm. SC so. Terra Marine also suggested the history of apes in comic books and games and how to use them mm -hmm. as PCs and NPCs. And uh, yeah, as along with the I, history of battle suits in comics and the history of elves. Yeah, or apes in battle suits. <laughs> Fey apes <laughs> in battle suits. Right. Your okay. simplistic solution is you know. Or, are too simple for this world of jet powered apes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh did I do oh, okay God, it scared me. I was like I didn't I thought I saved over everything. I did not. Yay. Yeah. Apes um, could be a good thing to tie into the first adventure from Chrono Crisis because there's mm -hmm. a time traveling Nazi gorilla. That's true. In that first okay. adventure. So yeah. uh what am I calling this? Are are we really going with some some uh, a deep dive I mean, into going history? bananas is good. Yeah. <laughs> going That's what bananas. That's reading called is going bananas. Right. And we have a lot of great, we have a lot of great apes in Earth Prime. We do. We got Cosmo we the do. Moon Monkey. We have a whole planet oh. of them. Mm -hmm. Um. Do we, what, what, what's, uh, so going bananas, colon, um, monkeying around in m, &M. Yeah, exactly. Monkeying around. Monkeying yeah. around in m, &M. And and who's to blame for this? SC Terran Marine. Yep, yep. And Doc's uh, Doc Doctor Simeon is. I love Doctor Simeon. I have a soft spot in my heart for him. How can you not? He's such a sophisticate. He's he's nuts. Like he made you a know? clone of Johnny Rocket named Johnny Rocket. Named Johnny yeah. Rocket. <laughs> I didn't say he was imaginative. I said he was a sophisticate. <laughs> who is the uh, who is that again? Uh, Doctor Simeon. Doctor Simeon. Okay, I just want to yes. make sure that's he's not Johnny yeah. Rocket's. I should have uh, guessed. Antagonist. Yep. Yeah. Is that right? Is that how you spell Simeon? Is there two M's in Simeon? There is one not. M in Simeon. One M in Simeon. One M. Okay, great. When's uh, Planet of right. the Apes coming out? We should plan for that to be around the same time that movie. Yeah, comes right. Out. That's a good. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes release date. I mean, they just need to May tenth. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, we're right around we're the right around then. We're like yeah, a few pretty, days before that. Look at us. Good job, team. Yeah, Good we've job. done it. See, that's what these synchronicities and you know so, synergies and all that. Since we're in the middle of it, do we also want to do a multiverse May? Oh, yeah, we shoot, should do. we do. Yeah, we do. Um, do you want to do it right here on the 13th? Sure. It's the middle yeah. of Luck, May. Lucky Monday, the 13th. Mid-multiverse May. Multiverse, <laughs> multiversal mid-May. Yeah, I like that. Multiversal mid-May. 
multiversal. Is it m multi dash yeah, versal? Nope. Nope. No okay. Multiversal. It's just mid. not a word. It's a mid. It's a made up word. Like just because sure. spell check doesn't recognize it doesn't mean it's not a word. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> spell check and you know, all words are made up. Word. Exactly. I have bad news here. Spell check. They're all made up. All right, I'm going to save that, and I'm going to actually put this in here so I remember. Um, I'll just put GR as, a, as it came from us, so that I don't yeah. frantically try to find who is responsible. I think um, at the beginning of May, I'll go on the Atomic Think Tank, and I'll offer up, like, hey, tell me about, what, tell me about an alternate universe you want to talk about. Oops, mm -hmm. I love that. Whoops, what happened here? Because uh, I'm sure everybody, I mean, everybody has their own Earth Prime. Right? Who plays yeah. Earth Prime. Right? Heroes Earth of the Prime's U.S. Civil War. Uh, you know, uh, we've got mm. some. Um, that's, we covered that a little bit in the Time Traveler Codex, I think. Or Freedom City, the source book. Ooh. So. Yes, uh, uh, Sean mentions um, mm -hmm. a practical demonstration of improvisation when players get off script. I liked that idea also. I saw that. There's a lot of great stuff to talk about, mm -hmm. I think, in that regard. Um, sure. So how would we want to frame that? Um, hmm. Well, Devious Hearts says we should just call it off the rails. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, I like that. Uh, practical demonstration though i wonder how we could pull something like that off this uh -huh. show is a regular demonstration of off the rails but that's fair um, uh yeah you know that's interesting so um <laughs> it was related to an actual play maybe Mm -hmm. It does, actually. It really does. You know, something, too, that I that I thought about, you know, now that we're kind of talking about this process stuff, is it would be interesting if we used a couple episodes to design an actual play, like to just mm -hmm. and then and then do it, um, invite some folks to be a part of it and do a, you know, a one shot and uh, and just kind of I don't know. What do you think about mm -hmm. that? Yeah, I think that's it's a fun cool. idea. The, the only challenge with designing an actual play on stream and then running it is not giving spoilers. Oh, yeah. sure. Because you kind of have to discuss the plot. <laughs> we could we could do that with our Eminem audience so we can go get some Ronins to come and be the players and subject hey, them to whatever awesome. it is. Like, That's fun. I like that a lot. Um, okay. Still, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that I mean that that's a blast. Um, and yeah. our our Ronines are in it to win it. So I'm trying to uh, decide if Malcolm would have a good time in one of my games or a horrible time in one of my. Games. I think he'd I'm have a blast. Sure. Honestly, I think he'd have a blast. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, so yeah. So do we want to? Um, uh, we're still in May. Do we want to to do like the first, like do a two part series? planning for an actual play and we can kind of figure out the structure, whether it's we bring in Ronin's or we, mm -hmm. or we do certain aspects of the adventure off camera or something, you know? Um, mm -hmm. But uh, do we want to start that on the May 20th? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So we'll say, um, what do we want to call this? A catchy fun name. Um, uh, oh, you! Know, I'm not forgetting about the off the rails part. Um, uh, yeah. So, do we want to say designing, like you know, d designing for chaos or <laughs> butterfly effect? <laughs> the butterfly effect, right? right. Um, um. Let's see. I'm going to put. Oops! Campaign design. Oops. Probably adventure design rather than... Oh, adventure, thank you. Yeah, adventure yes. design. Adventure design part one. And we can think of a catchy title later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it should even be something like if we want to have an example of things when, like, when improv goes right, I could go through my recordings and see if I can grab clips that we can go over. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think that's fun. Yeah, that'd be great. And I'd be like, this is why I did this. 
Right, right. See those look of panic on my face? <laughs> <laughs> this is what was going through my head. And then mm-hmm. do we want to, we'll want to follow up on the next Monday with, uh, uh, cause we could skip by Monday and then come back to it, but it feels like for continuity. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Well, I so think we, we should do... probably do part two on the, the week okay, following. Yeah. The following. Adventure. My keyboard is flat and it's, uh, really fun. Um, part dubla. <laughs> Evan says, I feel like a one shot with the Ronin's plan will automatically go off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially if we know that it's about that. <laughs> mm, right. Uh, hey, gentlemen, you know, we've been uh, broadcasting today for about a half hour. And, you know, it's mm-hmm. right about here where I like to say, hey, friends, uh, you might be listening. Uh, you could be listening on, on LinkedIn. <laughs> You could be. <laughs> you right. could be listening. Why are we still on LinkedIn? I just can't stop. No. I just it just cracks LinkedIn, me. Why can't I quit you? <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of trolling a bit because the stuff over there is as dry as dirt, and everyone's got a fire in the billy, and they've you know it's just all nonsense. Uh, so I like you know having us over there, add a little color and a little um you know. Mm-hmm. A little um, something of interest. Um, mm-hmm. It also just cracks me up. Um, I can just see people going, what the, you know, what is this? Um, but you might also be listening on, uh, you could be watching on Facebook. You could be hanging out here um, uh, on the YouTubes. Wherever mm-hmm. you are, we need your help. And this is how you can help mm-hmm. us. Uh, leave a comment. Now, I know you're talking in chat right now, but what people forget is the live chat isn't really part of the comments. It's weird, I know, um, but leave a leave a question, um, share it, uh, you know, uh, tell your uh, family about it. You know what? Uh, have a family gathering and just play a few episodes of us, and uh, I know that they'll love it. I'm certain. Mother's Day coming up. Here, mom. <laughs> Here's a link. Happy mom, Mama's Day. Um, you know what we're really fighting here is the algorithm, and you sharing and commenting. Uh, dropping a thumb, dropping a heart, whatever it is that there is to be dropped, um, drop it on us. Uh, and we, uh, we thank you for that. It is, um, you know, doing this show for how long have we done this? At least three we years. talked about that earlier. Yeah. I, I need to count our episodes, mm-hmm. um, because not all episodes, you know, are, are listed on the YouTube, but it, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. And, uh, and so We've been doing and we this for are 10% of my life. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> why that, that makes me way. feel so incredibly old. Um, <laughs> but uh, do those things. And then um, if you can also, um, uh, you know, uh, let us know if you've got an idea or a thought or something that you'd like to kind of help uh, improve the show or things like, mm-hmm. you know, if there's uh, if you've just got a, a barn burner of an idea, send a note to Let's Play at GreenRonin.com. And we thank you for that. And so, um, yeah, do so and enjoy as well. So let's see here. Yeah, we did to want to do chat. an episode about what you could take from other superhero games to bring Ooh. into your M&M games. We did want to talk about sure. that a little bit. Yeah, interesting. I thought that Mutants and Masterminds was the only superhero game. It's the um, greatest superhero game. That's but true. There are and other the ones only out there that have plenty of great things to offer. Not a my timeline. Uh, let's <laughs> see. Uh, let's see. I'm reading some of these. Um, yeah, we'll get to that devious. I promise. Uh, Claude says, "Drop it as if the temperature is not conducive to long-term holding due to risk of burns." Mm, let's like a workshop dog. that yeah yeah we're gonna workshop that it seems long um, um yeah. angel brings up a survival guide slash job interviews for supervillain henchmen for player and non-player characters and i think that could be combined with somebody else's suggestion of how to run an eagle campaign oh mm-hmm. okay okay um we have okay so now we're into june and uh hey, or uh, right around then yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, I also note that I do not have our holidays overlaid on this, and I probably ought to do that. Um, anyway, so what's uh, so we're looking at June, and this this topic is uh, job interviews for bad guys. Yes, uh, <laughs> I yeah. mean evil PCs. How to run your How to run your evil empire? Mm-hmm. I love that. I love. I love the for hench people. How to plan your schemes and okay, kind of 1099 okay. out to your contractors. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make sure you got HR policies in place. Um, right. Yeah, all that stuff. So uh <laughs> henchman resources naturally. 
Yeah, uh, this is so <laughs> naturally. Um, I think it's the the idea of uh, of framing it as like you know uh, hiring right for your supervillain mm-hmm. squad is kind of kind of mm-hmm. cute. Um, right, that'll be great on LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. right. That, that's right. Hire a better villain. Is that what we want to say? Or uh... um, yeah, that would be a fun role playing episode where, where where we are the HR people with the evil empire. I think that that actually would be kind of that would be kind I guess of your HR problems. Super hire ones. a, hire a mm-hmm. better super. Oh, it's not just uh, so it's uh, hire a better henchman. Hmm. Hire, you know, how do we want to? Well, Hire Alex, better well, baddie. Alex wanted to incorporate sort of just running evil or villainous campaigns. Yeah. So too. is Hire a better baddie? Is that? Yeah. Uh, your face says managing no. your mischief or something like that. Okay. Um, uh, Masterminds and minions. Yes. Masterminds and minions. There we go. How to run both sides of an evil campaign. Okay. Awesome. Mm-hmm. That is cool because you can be the mastermind, or you can be the group of henchmen who have to go out and do the hench thing. Uh, you know, and also we've talked in the past about I love that notion of giving your heroes a break to and having them play the henchmen. You know, just mm-hmm. as a as a kind of a one shot palate cleanser. Uh, mm-hmm. Who's who? Whom are we giving uh, the creds for this? Uh, Angel nice. brought up the interview aspect mm-hmm. of it, right. I like that. Uh, and then there was another... I'm trying to remember who said playing an evil campaign. I'll go look. Scanning hobo heroes. Uh, I mean, that's that's a topic by itself. I think that is trying to get into railroading and why that is a hot-button topic. Issue for some, yes. Um, so, and that's the... Where, you, where people just... You, the GM is just pushing everyone to one thing, and you can't mm-hmm. no real opportunity yeah. to yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, Jonathan yeah. Jackson suggested hey, Connor PC villains game. <laughs> Connor Tolson <laughs> is hanging out on LinkedIn. Good for you, Connor. Thanks, nice. Connor. Um, let's see. De-de-de-de-de. We love and appreciate our LinkedIn audience. We do mm-hmm. indeed. We definitely I'm just do. confused by you though, but I'm confused by a lot of people. I love. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, who, uh, if you are responsible for hench, uh, henching, mm-hmm. make uh, make yourself known so I can find you. And yeah, I'm it was Angel to... Arroyo and yep. Jonathan yeah, Jackson. Oh, Jonathan yep. Jackson. Okay, mm-hmm. gotcha. RC has a, a notion about playing a crew of jobber villains who are trying to pull off a job while they're you know avoiding a like Batman type. Um, that could be a fun adventure idea to talk about for this. Angel, I'm looking episode. for your I username. A- I have a convention one shot. I have a convention one shot. I'm planning that is just Joker goons going to pick up the Joker's dry cleaning, and shenanigans ensue. What could go wrong? Have to deal with the Bat family and all of Gotham in the process. Okay, so now we're at the tenth. What about drawing on other cultures respectfully for characters and adventures? We you know, think that is a great topic. I don't know that Steve and I are the right people. Are the to people? Talk about it. To yeah, you know, we. Yeah. I think you know one of the things that we've wanted to explore is you know the bringing people on that can speak to you know stuff like that. Um, yes. And uh, and it's I think that there's ways for us to tell you to be careful, um, mm-hmm. but you know right. that's not necessarily the valuable information, right? I yes. mean, like you should go into this already being careful. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'm happy to tell you the way to be polite about it and the way to be well researched and mm-hmm. to do it with tender, loving care. But I'm also not the person who should be saying this is how this right. should look. Right. Sean Holland says, "What could go wrong? Adjudicating failure." Mm. I like I think, that. I, I do mm. think we should do our sort of superhero RPGs crossover, uh, where we talk about you know ideas that are worth. Uh, oh yes, that's borrowing right. Borrowing from other RPGs, a paying homage. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, I like that. So, uh, what shall we call this? Um, uh, borrowing liberally. I don't know. <laughs> Following borrowing other RPGs is... down dark alleys and taking things out of their taking their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a borrowing inspiration. Mm-hmm. Um, no, don't borrow inspiration. Bar- inspiration sucks. Use hero points. <laughs> 
I see a t-shirt in our uh, future. Um, look, as somebody who can't roll dice, I hate rolling for inspiration. It, <laughs> it never feels good. Um, <laughs> outright theft, how to theft. steal mechanics from other RPGs. You know, Grand that Theft actually RPG. is bombastic enough <laughs> yes. to, you know, uh, to fit into my efforts to try to make our titles more we can, confrontational. We can call it, you know, <laughs> super duplication. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or what did they say? What is it called? Um, um, something is the sincerest form of whatever. Um, uh, imitation. Imitation. Sincerest form of flattery. Yeah. So do we want to, like, maybe call it that? Like, uh, imitation. No, well, that's too long. Um, yeah, there's, there's the second half of that quote, too, that makes it worse. Yeah, oh, what is it? I was going to say. The sincerest form of flattery that mediocrity can pay to greatness. Can, yes, indeed. I see. I see. Yeah, it doesn't cast us in a good light. Take take a right. note, other RPG <laughs> creators. No. <laughs> um, Something okay. borrowed. Claude, you are just trouble. Uh, they're doing it wrong. How to improve mechanics <laughs> from lesser games. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, um, you know, what is it? Uh, just take it. No, that's not good. Um, something borrowed. Something borrowed. Mm -hmm. Something something borrowed is just yeah. fine it'll yes. be kind of like you know we're married to this idea mm -hmm. something borrowed um mechanics from other rpgs mm -hmm. or it's taking well we can't call it taking inspiration because alex doesn't like that <laughs> <laughs> i don't want inspiration i want pictures of spider-man <laughs> get me pictures of spider-man <laughs> uh let's see mechanics Mechanice. Uh, mechanics. Mechanice. <laughs> From other Mechanice. RPGs. From other GG RPGs. You know, we're going to work on that title, but I yeah. don't want to get stuck in it. Um, yeah. and we then can talk about icons, too, and see what Steve thinks about right? icons. Yeah. Um, I assume Steve likes icons. I, I will argue both pro and con. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll get back to that one. Um, I picked up what you put down, Steve. Mm-hmm. Of the th I took Crossover Caucus Ruckus. <laughs> what? I said what? it. I don't really know what that means. We'll keep workshopping uh, it. Something borrowed, something bleh. 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 Uh, I, did like, um, I did like the adjudicating failure thing, though. I, think I did, is, too, um, though. I feel like I that's a... Yeah, yeah. I and agree. failing forward or something like that. Or like, fail, yeah, failing failing to fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, failing, failing for fun. fun. Failing into fun. Yeah, failing to yeah. fun. Sounds failing like to fun. <laughs> like, we are failing to fun here, friends. Fun year. Um, <laughs> fun year. <laughs> fail, fail fun. Um, fail moon. Uh, failing. Yeah, failing, failing, forward. Fun, failing forward. I like that. Failing, failing fun word, says Claude. Uh -huh. Failing fun word. <laughs> Fun word. <laughs> Fun word. I like that. I mean, that, that is the goal. That is, we want to make sure failure doesn't is, end the story. Ends up being fun. Yeah. Failing fun word. Um, yeah. I do think that is something that Eminem players bring from other games that is hard to break. Is the it is. Failure it is. means the end of the game. It doesn't mean this is an opportunity to do something exciting. Mm -hmm. Right. Failing for fun and profit. <laughs> I almost put that. Yeah, I was just thinking about that same thing. Getting it all wrong for fun. Um, who gets that? I forget where I read that. Uh, Failing fun word. No, that's not what they said. Um, uh, Sean Holland. What could go wrong? Sean Holland. Awesome. Yes. Sean. And also, you know, uh, friends. If you, if we, um, if we type something, or we, you know, we kind of interpret your idea, and we're off the mark. Um, please let, let us know. Let, yeah, please let us know. Mm -hmm. If you're like, no, this isn't about fun. <laughs> this is right. about adjudicating and punishing people. That is, that is not what I said at all. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to let us know. Um, but I do. I think it's a valuable lesson for Eminem GMs in mm -hmm. particular and players. I mean, yeah. Some of the best times in our Eminem games are when a player is like, you know what? I'll, I'll let it ride. I won't spend the hero point. I'll, I want to see what happens. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, or or to take that risk because it's all for fun, you know, mm -hmm. and it might go horribly wrong, but that could be the most, you know, poignant, fun, hilarious, uh, important moment of your campaign. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so did we cover railroading? Uh, we should. I, we I, didn't, I don't think. Yeah, I we don't didn't think put so it either. in. 
Okay. Somebody said we should put that in the off the rails episode because it's the other, it's the opposite it's the of railroad right opposite of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's actually not a bad idea, but uh, I feel like the, um, the off the rails piece. It's probably going to have a lot to, it's going to have, it's a, lot to gonna have a lot to cover as it is though. Let me actually, I'm worried that we might've missed that. So we did, because the off the rails thing didn't kind of turn into designing a, a, a game, designing a, uh, an adventure. Yeah. 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 Um, it did. And I think we didn't really touch on. Um, yeah, it was the practical application of it. That was the. Uh, that's where we got into the weeds a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do we that want? We do. Yeah. So, do we want to um, create a or 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 does that concept permeate the experience? You know, what I mean? do we want to just be sure that? <clears throat> excuse me. That the uh, that the adventure design is also a conversation about when things go off the rails, how to fix it. Yeah. Um, we could definitely talk in the adventure design about how to how to get things going back. Mm -hmm. um, I do think it should be its own episode, though. I think I, I, I think, think so, too. Yeah, I think it would be good to, to take give me like two months so I can find clips from me and mm -hmm. from RC okay. or Max of Mayhem yep. or other GMs who are running actual plays. So, so I can off the rails and back on track. Yeah, like it off the rails, off, off the rails. Reviews, review the game footage. <laughs> right. Doing, uh, pull, like sports style. <laughs> pull the footage, yeah. Um off the rails. Yeah, let's watch Ac Alex's reaction in slow motion. Uh <laughs> what is it notice, like? notice, notice the notice the dawning horror that's passing over Alex's face. Did the light <laughs> leave his eyes? That's the moment you know that the game's gonna be great. <laughs> that's, that's the moment his soul left his body. Um I love Devious. You, this you, you got a great suggestion here. But um off the rails, uh you know what you want to say this, keeping it. Mm -hmm. keeping it real no <laughs> uh how to keep um how to keep the game going when the players don't go where you expect them to how to keep your game on track mm -hmm. um yeah 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 how to keep <laughs> how to move the goalposts keep things <laughs> on track when they ah, definitely I had that planned all along that's a lot of it when they absolutely, I'll say this, I'll say absolutely, oops, absolutely. Yeah. I don't want. So, absolutely are not. Um, and that was so, Sean Holland, if I'm uh, remembering, or if I read something that uh, said as much. Sean yes. Holland and Sean Dugan. Sean Dugan event. Uh, oh, it's a double Sean. The, okay, the Seans are, are lining up again. This yeah, is Sean a real. Sean Dugan brought up the, um, the practical application of it. Mm-hmm. All right, I love that. So the the uh, double threat of Apuk and Devious Hearts have a good notion about sort of group building. I'm telling you, these community leaders getting together right. and yeah, colluding is just not. It's too much. Um, and yeah, what was that I mean, again? They more they know more than we do. Right, yeah, <laughs> but they get a good right. game group together. We should, we should just give the show to them for that week. So building the team, making a gaming group for Eminem. Mm -hmm. That yeah. yeah, I like that. Uh, I do and, like that. I mean, a that's, lot. that's 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 applicable even just outside of Eminem because a lot of yeah. the, a lot of that will be universal experience. Right? Absolutely, yeah. And I think that the important thing here is it's on purpose. It's not mm -hmm. accidental chemistry. It's something mm -hmm. that you really you yes, know uh, have to work for. at. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And that can include uh, building trust. That could also include some like GM. Maybe don't do that or. Yeah, how, yes. to be, how to be a considerate player, or how to yep. we can get yeah to be able to recognize key RPG moments etiquette stuff exactly exactly, and then uh, being able to recognize key moments that if you were to squash would have long term you know mm -hmm. ramifications mm -hmm. negative ramif ramifications. So um, I'm yeah. saying building mm -hmm. uh, yeah building trust in your group allows yeah, for good gaming. Notes that building trust is really the key thing. Mm -hmm. Building trust uh, and it will be practical practical um practical game groups yeah practical game groups <laughs> yeah that, that, communication uh talking to talking to each other like adults right oops dvi oh us um okay how did not be the gm who says i'm thinking of a number and if you guess wrong i'll punish you 
<laughs> That's my least favorite kind of game master. <laughs> right. Um, all right. Well, you know what I realized? I can just butcher everybody's names. I've got your heads covering up that space so they can't see it. I love it. Right. Um, cool. Let's see. <laughs> yes. Are we Rebel thinking Moose. that? Um, are we thinking oh. that off the rails is the railroading episode too? Mm, Nick, were we going to do like that? Could the be? opposite, like the you know, um, same sides or different sides of yeah. the same coin kind of thing. Yeah, I yeah, think I it's think finding so. the happy medium. I mean, that's yeah, because when we're talking about getting things on track, we you have to talk about how to avoid you know making them railroady. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do want to share my sort of hot take on railroading. Also, mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's see. I'll just put railroading. To be included. Uh, space between serenity and rage, or whatever Magneto needs to have. <laughs> <laughs> Very fine line. Right. All right. So. Um, oh, that is my hot take is saying railroading is good, actually, is not what I want to say on the internet. Spoilers, Alex. To be fair, we'll talk about it in the episode, but. Well, so here's the thing we've done it. Yes, we're going uh, into July. I'm looking yeah. at this. So we've got April, uh, Imps and Tricksters, Titan City on the 8th, uh, Advanced Combat on the 15th, Shots Fired. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one. On the 22nd, uh, Genres in your M&M and M&M &M in your genres. I'm padding for that episode. you got your genres in my M&M. <laughs> right? Two great tastes. Uh, you that your Skittles in my M&Ms. A little weird. That's a weird taste. Um, yeah, yeah. Going Bananas on the 6th. We've got Multiversal May on the 13th of May. Uh, Adventure Design on the 20th, uh, mm -hmm. Adventure Design Part 1, and then Part 2, where we will come out of that with some kind of an actual play, you know. Yeah, uh, uh, Troy, will you just pencil in that actual play for that Friday, and we'll make it work? Yeah, for I will Friday, do May that. The, May the 31st, if you'll just put that on the calendar. No. Can't, the smart, smart thinking, um, actual play. I'm just putting that, but, uh, everyone will know what it means. Mm -hmm. And then, um... Let's see. Masterminds and Minions. Uh, mm -hmm. Something Borrowed on the 10th. Then Failing Fun Word. <laughs> 17th. 24th is Off the Rails, which is the two sides of the same. We'll, we'll refigure that, that title yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Building Trust, mm -hmm. which is a great one. And mm -hmm. then that, we've got three months and a day. Yeah. Yeah, wow. uh, Raymond did say, are we going to talk about the other archetypes in the Game Master's Guide? Uh, Raymond, would mm -hmm. that be something that you would be happy to see on the Atomic Think Tank? Or do you want us to do more m and Mondays about that after this mm -hmm. group, after this batch of episodes? Right. And yeah, what, let us know. What, what further sorts of discussion do you want to see? Yeah. Wow. So listen, everybody, uh, you might be... Nice. Um, uh, you know, sitting on some ideas, or, or uh, if we if we might have accidentally overlooked your idea or ignored you on purpose. Um, uh, you know, RC's got a great question here, just about oh, joystick yeah. game mastering. That's kicking off here soon, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do. Um, I could definitely do some of those game master archetypes in the joy of game mastering on Tuesday. Love that. that yeah, so that's Tuesdays at uh, uh, usually at five p.m. EST. E EST. Okay, awesome. Um, and then, uh, and, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll add that to our streaming calendar on the atomic think tank. I want to talk real fast about the atomic think tank. Mm -hmm. It is gangbusters. It is so many people are having a great time and we are, you know, as I've said before, we're kind of building that aeroplane as we're flying it. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're doing a great job with the help of friends like devious hearts. Who's got some fantastic artwork has been really putting together some stuff for, mm -hmm. for our badges and uh, has just put in a, a heroic effort, if you will. But mm -hmm. there is a whole bunch of, um, of stuff to come 
there's just a lot of, of, you know, there's so many small, um, uh, uh, pockets of, you know, our, we're kind of in a, a niche, um, sort of genre as if you will. Mm-hmm. And we've got niches within the niches and we just wanted to get all those niches together in one spot. And so with that, we have created the atomic think tank. Now, some folks are like, how is this different than anything else that we've ever done? And all that jazz, um, you know, it is, uh, it's very different. Um, it is a community platform, which mm-hmm. is something that, um, you know, is, uh, a, an opportunity for <clears throat> no matter where you're at in the green Ronin family, you could be a freebooter. You could be somebody who's a big fan of the, like you could be participating in the valued adventures preview event. You mm-hmm. could be doing, uh, the H creators Alliance or the Chronicle system guild. Uh, you could also be, you know, maybe you are, maybe you are publishing under the super powered by M&M license. You're welcome to be a part mm-hmm. of this as well. We've already got folks uh, um, uh, lining up and, and uh, sharing their thoughts and engaging with us. And uh, it's just been phenomenal. So if you're listening, if you're listening to this, you're going to want to get um, uh, look at in the live chat, if you're listening to this on demand, uh, mm-hmm. look in the live chat for the link that I'm sending. And uh, we're going to be doing lots of different articles and things that, it, unlike the Patreon, because, you know, this is sort of the next evolution of the Patreon. Um, unlike the Patreon, you don't have to be a paying person to engage. Mm-hmm. You you know, there's there's a very hearty and healthy uh, free tier. And... Um, in addition, you as people who are engaged in this um, uh, in this hobby in such a passionate way can write your own articles, right? And that's what I love about it. Uh, yeah. It's super Earth Prime fanfic channels. Oh yo yo! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure we have room for that. Uh, we're just so packed. Um, There's too much data. Uh, let's see. Is the new ATT going to be opened up in the near future fine. for memberships, or is that going to be on hold for a while? So here's the plan. Uh, we are porting everybody over from the Patreons over to the Atomic Think Tank. Folks who were uh, ever paying members uh, over on the Patreon mm-hmm. will be able to engage on, and we're still going. To, we're still doing the, the subscription tier content, but it's free for three months. So I think right. we're, we're into our almost ending our first month. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and so we'll make sure to give everybody a lot of notice, but yeah, mm-hmm. come on over there. Uh, if you are, if you've got questions or you get kind of turned around, do me a favor, just message me on the atomic think tank and we'll point you in the right direction. Um, and he, this is a uh, RC uh, speaks truth. And that is uh, so far, it seems that the vast majority of the content is in the free section, which I think is important for folks to know it's a community, not only a subscription and the subscription mm-hmm. stuff is a different it's, it's yes. going to be, yeah. Um, plenty of content, great articles. Devious has got some great articles there, more opportunities for people to do that kind of thing. We've got places for you to share your hero. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, yeah. uh, people stats. tried Steve's new hero point rules yet. I'd be yeah, curious, I'm curious. about that. Oh yeah, well we should ask. Uh, we should ask for sure. And you know where we could do that? Right over at the Atomic Think Tank. You know, and that's the other thing too. Uh, Steve and Alex are going to be posting updates both in the free and Mm -hmm. in in the community section and uh, in the uh, membership section. And you can um, uh, engage with them directly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a lot of fun. We're putting a lot of work in there. And as I said before, we're building this as we're building it. So come in and bring your great ideas. Bring your, you know, your positive mental attitude and, uh, and you know, uh, grab your corner of the Mutants and Masterminds space and make it so. I think it'll be a lot of fun and yeah. so far so good. Um, yes. And so, again, any questions that you've got, uh, ping me directly over on uh, the Atomic Think Tank. And um, <laughs> Rebel mm-hmm. says, boy, howdy. It sounds like I should merge my mind with this Think Tank soon. Absolutely, you must. Mm-hmm. Um, well, gentlemen, this is, it's, it's three o'clock straight up, but I want to, um, uh, check in with Steve and see what's going on in the Kenson cinematic universe. It is, uh, right now this week, Troy, more of the same. It's, it's getting stuff, uh, finished up for Valiant Adventures. Uh, it is, uh, working on some age system stuff, uh, for, um, things that i can't talk about (laughs) (laughs) i love that (laughs) no those kinds of things yeah nice awesome um alex how about you uh yeah i um 
Lost Library is out in the world. I'm excited to hear right. people's thoughts. Um, I will be sharing a Titan City primer over on the Atomic Think Tank, mm-hmm. just for people who may not be familiar with the setting. They have a chance to <clears throat> read a little bit about it right. and see if ask questions mm-hmm. if they want to ask questions. And of course, for folks who want to check out Titan City, they should read Alex's novel, The Magician's yes. Sense. That's, those... Yeah, that's, that's probably a good idea that I should mention, too. <laughs> well, you know, so we've included, because we love you, Alex, is we've included, if you go to that uh, QR code, you'll click the link to where you want to purchase it. And in that description are links to Alex's books. Um, mm-hmm. RC, being our link wizard, has dropped the alexanderwrites.com address as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there so... are a bunch of free Titan City short stories on the alexanderwrites.com website. Ooh. Uh, you can see the map of the city on there. Yep. Oh, we should republish some of that. Like maybe share it, you know. Uh, yeah. I should probably yeah. write some of it too, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And also on Wednesday, we will be returning to Earth Prime for Freedom League Dark in the Multiverse of the Master Mage Part 2. Ooh. Uh, in which our heroes are trying to stop uh, Adrian Eldritch from destroying the multiverse. So that'll be a ton of fun. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And that's again, that's, did you say that was on Friday night? Um, on Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights. Got you. Got you. And so for more information, they can head on over to uh, Untold uh, Stories Project. Yeah. UntoldStoriesProject.com or Twitch.tv slash Untold Stories Project. Beautiful. Awesome. They're actually spending their first story arc in Ravenloft. <laughs> 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 so actually, we'll be doing Ravenloft in Eminem. So if you want to see mm. how to use Gothic Horror in Eminem, come hang out. <laughs> Great worked example. Absolutely. Yeah. Keep your eyes open for um, uh, the joys of game mastering. And uh, listen, chat, thank you for hanging out. This is always an enjoyable show for us to do. It's it's doing so much work in the span of just an hour and really Mm -hmm. enjoying it. And that seems like it's not fair, but we do it anyway and it's fun Um, and we'll do it again. But uh, yeah, if you're sitting on some ideas or some thoughts, again, make sure you send a note to let's play at greenronin.com where I will summarily ignore your email on mm-hmm. accident or maybe on purpose. Who can say? Um, but with that, gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out. Another wonderful hour in the books. And we will be back Thursday for a Thursday. Lots of things going on that you're going to want to check out. That's at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern on you know in this very same space. We just kind of swap mm-hmm. out people. And uh, thank you so much um, our, to our friend at Facebook who's just uh, listed as a dash um, says yes. you guys do great work and uh, I agree I think you guys do great work thank um, you. have a great rest of your week too, everybody bye right. well thank Alex thank you very much um, take care everybody a, take care talk to you later bye see you everyone